Did you say Harry's new baby? Uh, well, that's what the video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, if I could only say it, please do subscribe. Because I don't see it enough, so I can't read it to say, oh, that's subscribed. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. No, I don't even think there's a rumor out there that there's a new baby coming. But it's reasonable to think that there might be another one eventually. So uh, let's look into that. Okay, so Prince Harry and uh, Duchess of Sussex, uh, Meghan, are currently raising their two children, Archie and Lilibet, at their Montecito home in California. And many royal fans wonder if the Duke and the Duchess will follow in the footsteps of Harry's older brother, Prince William, and try for a third uh, you know, kid, uh, since they've stepped away from the royal duties in the UK. And they have time to spend with, uh, with their kids. However, uh, Harry was previously uh, expressed his desire to help with the environment by limiting the number of children that he has. Um, in 2019, he said, I think weirdly because of the people that I've met and the places that I've been fortunate enough to go to, I've always had a connection and love for nature. I view it differently now without question, but I've always wanted to try and ensure that even before having a child and hoping to have children, I've always thought this place is borrowed and surely being an intelligent, as intelligent as we all are or as evolved as we are all supposed to be, we'd be able to leave something better behind uh, for the next generation. But uh, the Prince assures two maximum. So if Harry is still of the same view and if Meghan is on the same page as her husband, we won't be seeing any more sexist babies in the future. But what about adoption? So Prince Harry, another child, would he adopt another kid? He's already said that um, he's not interested in procreating more than two children. But uh, might they adopt? That's interesting. So Prince Harry, specifically, I'm not going to mention the Duchess. Prince Harry, might he adopt? Seven of Rods, uh, fighting things off, three of cups, happy celebrations. Those are just... My clumsiness. So, Prince Harry, will he adopt another child? Prince Harry. It's interesting. I could see it. As a matter of fact, I kind of thought that's how they would populate their family to begin with. I thought they might um, adopt sort of do a, an Angelina Jolie kind of thing. So, Prince Harry adoption. Before we do that, though, let's have just a minute. Meditation. Okay. So yeah, Prince Harry, would he, will he, is he going to adopt another child? It's interesting. I think uh, he would really actually have to fall in love with another child. Um, that uh, comes to mind right away. It wouldn't just be, hey, let's go get a kid. Uh, no, I think he'd have to, have to, there would have to be a heartfelt, uh, a heart, heart pull for this to happen, I think. But uh, let's see what uh, six cards do. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Prince Harry. Is there an adopted child in your future? Okay, let's see. First card, signifier. Okay, this is the emperor. Well, um, interesting card. Uh, just uh, this is a, is a signifier card. This is someone who is in complete control of their empire of what's uh, going on. This is an iron fist. Okay, so it may not seem that way to some of us, uh, but that's uh, what signifies this reading. Uh, whether he would uh, adopt another child, and he shows up as the emperor. Uh, the challenge to that is the hanged man. So that's interesting. So the challenge to being uh, in this uh, imperial position is uh, the challenge is looking at something from another point of view, as a matter of fact. Um, enough said. The base of this reading, though, 
is uh, the moon cards and the moon cards of secrets being revealed. Now, this is interesting. So what could this mean, the secrets being revealed? And we're talking about children. And would he adopt? Is there some child out there now? Under the emperor? Hmm. In the past of this reading is the eight of swords. So feeling trapped, feeling like you can't get out. Swords of truth, justice, rules of law. And uh, so this is just feeling like, you know, you're not going to get out of that uh, position. And uh, it's interesting, uh, as, I, as I put this card down, that our very first three cards of this have all been uh, major arcana cards. Uh, and so this is the first uh, of the uh, pit cards to get in here. So eight of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, feeling really, really trapped in the past. Okay. And the question is, uh, would he adopt? But that, those, those trapped feelings are in the past. In the sky of this reading... With this five of wands, wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and uh, this five of wands, these folks are kind of, you know, having a fruitless, uh, ridiculous little uh, sk skirmish here. Um, it's nothing deadly. And so in the sky of this reading, we're asking about whether whether uh, Harry would have uh, an adopted child. We've got this, you know, this uh, indecision, this uh, wanting to get it my way, no, I want to get it your way. So this could be uh, some turmoil in his little uh, uh, empire there. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this is the Seven of Rods is um, really defending yourself against uh, some, a lot of other issues coming up. It looks like, no, he's, he, this isn't something that's on his mind, I don't think at all. But uh, just to four more cards to flush it out. I mean, he seems pretty much involved with his own uh, empire and get taking care of that. But uh, four more cards just to see what they say. Uh, Harry, uh, would you adopt? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, the uh, self of that question is the magician. What does this mean? So the magician, um, uh, making things happen, um, you know, an, an illusion. Oh, that's interesting. And we're back to secrets being revealed here, making something happen as an illusion. Interesting. Adoption. Um, the um, environment that that's in then this magical uh, uh, ability is this nine of pentacles really having everything, you know, really having all the value that you need to uh, make a thing happen. Yep. Uh, the uh, hopes and the fears of that, huh, is uh, this empress. That's an interesting card to get here, especially when we have the emperor uh, right here uh, at the first part of this reading to now get the empress also in the same reading. And so the hopes of the fears, this is, uh, oh, okay, the wife has to come in here and we can't forget that she has to be uh, on board with whatever is happening here. And the final outcome for that then is the king of pentacles. And um, this is a shadowy king. This king is, uh, pentacles are value. And uh, that's not a very satisfying outcome, honestly. Uh, the king of pentacles is just telling me that uh, in the end, uh, this uh, emperor ruling with an iron fist is going to be the master of his value. Uh, I'm going to do just one more card to see what it tells us uh, as maybe some kind of a clarifier, perhaps. Uh, would uh, Harry uh, adopt? Seven of Cups, illusion and delusion. So it's all up in the air. There's nothing. The only thing that we know is that he is the one who's going to determine uh, what happens in his uh, little family. Interesting. So it's not answered. That means it's not. Uh, that, that, that means it's not. No. Did you think that was predictive? I'm not sure how I feel about uh, that reading. So, um, you know, give me a comment. Let me know. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this, these are the new Palladini tarot. And David Palladini, um, you know, had just finished art school when someone asked him to do take on a, uh, a commission of doing uh, cards. And he did the Aquarian uh, tarot. Well, uh, 25 years later, uh, once he was an established artist, uh, he came back to the tarot and decided to, uh, to make this new deck. And so um, more to his influence. And uh, this is published by U.S. Games. And the, the instruction booklet in this is run-of-the-mill, except for the uh, part where uh, they talk about the new Palladini Tarot, where they talk about the artwork, and where the, uh, uh, the artist actually speaks here. I mean, this is an interesting few little pages to read, so I don't know. I like it. But the cards themselves, let me spread them out so you can see them before we use them are really neat. If you've ever seen the Aquarian Tarot, it's kind of a muted set of colors and it's a great deck to use. Well, these are just more vibrant and um, really, really a nice deck of cards. I love uh, to use these cards. They just really pop and it's easy to know what they mean and uh, they're great. David Palladini, thank you. But I like to do this so that you can get an idea 
of what all the cards look like and uh, maybe that will help you figure out what cards you want to buy if you want to buy some more cards or your first cards or you know I used to always wonder uh, when I was just watching the videos uh, what the rest of the cards look like so that's why I do this new town new Paladini uh, tarot well I'm Mark this has been my journey through tarot I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go so stop on by ciao for now really make a big difference. Thank you.